Hello, everyone. This is Super Cool Radio. I am back in Chicago. I'm here at Liars Club. I got some great guests joining me at this time. They're a killer band from Austin, Texas. Please welcome the Oxys. Thanks for having us, Matt. Of course. Great guests and very generous of you. It's the first time anyone's called us great in a while. Appreciate that. Oh, really? Oh. Wow. That means it's true. But I'll, I'll introduce the two people I have with me. We have Jason on guitar. We got Chris on drums. Chris on drums. Aha! Yes, Correct. Aha! All right. All right, interview's done. I got all my research. He did his homework. <laughs> he did <laughs> his homework. Nailed it. All right, so now we've got quite a bit to discuss with the Oxys. Before we get to this current run of shows, I'm curious for you guys, you had the opportunity to perform in Spain. How was that? Spain was incredible. Uh, we were over there for two weeks. I think we did, I don't know, 13 or 14 shows. Yeah, yeah. Good crowds, great hospitality, uh, good reception, um, beautiful country. Going back in April, I believe, of 2025 in promotion of our uh, upcoming record. Uh, looking forward to get back. I think we're going to hit some uh, other dates in France, maybe Germany, as well as Spain this time. Yeah, yeah. And it was really nice to, to note on what he said, just the hospitality was really great. The People were kind, especially for us going out there for the first time, and just just the welcome was really warm. And so, yeah, really excited to big get shout a out to, to our driver, Analito. Analito, the man, great us, driver. He was like, he's like our safe. daddy. He's like our daddy. Yeah, man, he carried us through it, made it happen. So, yeah, he made the magic happen for sure. So I'm curious for you guys: is it a different experience, either like crowd wise or just like show wise, to perform to perform in Spain compared to the United States? Well, without offending our American fans, I would say, yeah, I mean, it's relatively the same. You know, our fans come out, they know the music, uh, you know, they might shoot some video of the first song and then they're, they're singing along or, or, or dancing or whatever. So I, it's just relatively similar, you know. It depends on what city, though. Like, if we play our hometown in Austin, it's a little more of a jaded city, you know, so you're likely to find about half the crowd out back on the patio socializing and, you know, smoking cigarettes, right? It was a fair statement. Uh, Maybe a little bit of that. Some social call, but I don't know. At least they're there and it's good. Yeah. It's all the same. We're having a yeah. good time no matter what. So, yeah. 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 And it was cool in Spain. There's a lot of uh, the people that showed up that knew kind of our, our background and stuff too, like stuff that Jason and I have done also in other bands. And, like with Sylvain and things like that that we talked about. Like they brought posters and they brought other stuff from, from so they kind of knew who we were even ahead of time and it was really fun. So that was like really a nice chance to happen out there. You had lots of questions for us as you did in our first interview when we talked about <laughs> yes. some of the things we've done in the past. Like people wanted to talk about that and uh, we were happy to oblige them and answer their questions. So did it surprise you how much they knew about you before even performing there? Um, I mean, I get, I, I don't know. I mean, anytime you have someone your first time in a country and they're singing your songs, it's exciting. You know, it just, I mean, our stuff's available on all the platforms, like every other band and, uh, our publicist is, is great. So, uh, we got a lot of coverage over there and stuff before we went. So it, it was successful and it's just flattering. You know, I guess some people yeah. know your music in advance. Yeah, that's the best part about it. It's 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 always appreciated. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Maybe next time we should support some uh, super cool radio jerseys over to Spain for you. Yeah, just a thought. Just I, not out there. We'll have to talk after the interview because you won't even need a publicist with us. Yeah, no. So yeah, well, I'm my own publicist for right now. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Honestly, since I bought, I have two of these. I got a purple one and a blue one. And since I've bought them, people have like stopped and talked to me more now. And actually, like, notice me and it shows. So, yeah, it's a good call. Good promotion for sure. Oh, yeah. So, look out for those. Did you somewhere in the haunted? 
Oh, not yet. Club in Chicago. Not yet. In the I, basement. I, I, I talked about the Spain tour first, but yes, jumping to the present day now. We're here in Chicago at the Haunted Liars Club. I asked the guy because I I've talked to some people before I came to this venue, and they're like, "It's super haunted." And so I asked the uh, the barkeep over, uh, upstairs, and he's like, "Is this haunted?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, it is." Yeah, the bartender <laughs> looked at me when I was walking down there. He's like, "You don't want to go down there." I'm like, yeah, I'll, "All right." There's already been stuff. I guess I'm doing a thing down here, though. I mean, we're still alive right now. Rooms, so far, rooms flying, sweeping themselves. I- I walked past that and knocked over. You guys walked past it, fell over. I did not touch it. You guys didn't touch it. It just falls over. Anyway, how has this run of shows been going so far? Well, it's a very short run of shows. Uh, we did Nashville at the Cobra, which was awesome. Nashville's a great crowd. Uh, next night, we went to Memphis. Memphis is always hit and miss, in my experience. And we played a new place. Well, not a new place. It's a very old place, actually, called Murphy's the Irish Pub. I'd never played there before. It was kind of a last minute show we picked up and it was great. It was wild. It was fun. And it was uh, very high energy in that room. So that was great. And here we are at the Liars Club tonight. And then we're doing Detroit at Smalls tomorrow. And then we have to drive back to Austin. Uh, we're playing uh, a pre party for a, a bigger band that's playing down there. I won't say their name. It's, it's good. It's going great. Well, I'm glad. To, I'm, I'm glad we've made, it, we've made it to all the shows, which is the most important yeah. thing for us. Because I'm sure you're going to ask about uh, the last tour, but actually, that wasn't on my notes. But if you'd like to, <laughs> I was going to ask how the pyramid was. Well, the pyramid was incredible. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a. This is a, this is a, this guy's a, a fishing maniac over yeah, here. So yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah. "Can you please take me to the Bass Pro Pyramid?" I'm I mean, like, yeah, "That's the mecca." All right, so. so we I we got up, we left early, and then we went to the pyramid. We went all the way up to the top of the pyramid, right? Uh, all the taxidermy, the aquariums. It was awesome, and I I was I didn't know that that used to be a basketball arena. Yep. And, and then I had people telling me, "Oh, I saw Kiss in there," or "Oh, I saw the Grateful Dead in there," and I was like, "Wow, okay, I had no idea." Yep. I would have never guessed with that big Bass Pro logo on the front, you know? Yeah, actually, there's some history behind it. Yeah, it was Memphis Grizzlies when they were in Memphis. And then it was abandoned for like 20 years. Then Bass Pro Shop took it over, I think, in the last five or so years. But it was abandoned for the longest time. Wow. Yeah, that's such a cool thing for us. Yeah. What, what better of a place to, to occupy space there now? So. The last time I was in Memphis, I got robbed. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, last, what happened? So last time I was in Memphis, so uh, I was going through is when I was playing with the Dead Boys, and we stopped at Sun Studios, you know, to hang out because it was our first night of the tour. I just flown in. We went to Sun Studios. We were in there for an hour. We came out, and our lock had been drilled out, and they stole our luggage, and we were out for thirty days. So we were basically uh, scrambling for clothing. It was pretty incredible. Wow, was it? Was it your gear or just your clothing? No, they got, okay. they got all the suitcases, and the next thing would have been the guitars. But since we were right behind Sun Studios, there was probably a lot of foot traffic. So my best guess is they got spooked or something, and we got lucky on that. I mean, I'd rather have my, my guitars and my clothes, you know? Yeah. There's a joke in there somewhere. I can't think fast enough to put it in there. <laughs> so, so what'd you do for that? Like, just buy clo- more clothing? or? Well, like anyone else in 2018, you know, we immediately headed for the social platforms and pled our case and said, hey, we're hopeless and out on tour without any clothing. If anyone wants to come out and throw us some t-shirts or some pants, we'd love it. And uh, that's what we did. I still, I still wear some of the clothes I got. Some people brought me some really great stuff. I'm glad people chipped in to help like, out with that. I, I think these pants I have on right now used to belong to Steve Miller from Electric Frankenstein. Really? Yeah. That's cool. So I... Yeah, I think I'm wearing. Thanks, Steve. I'm wearing your pants again. Shout out, again, shout out, Steve. It's funny because they have electric Frankenstein like tour tour uh, poster up in the bar. I saw that earlier. Yeah, I think they're playing here soon. Some, I think it's end of September. Yeah, yeah, that'll be great. Yeah, it'll be a good show. I'm have to show up. <laughs> uh, but I also did want to talk about. So for you guys, I'm curious for you guys. Focus on the live show. Um, do you have a favorite song to perform live? I do. Uh, we have one called Long Shadows. Um, there's there's kind of a twofer around the end of the set when it's like, you know, balls out, you know, the jets are on all the all to the max, but there's one called Long Shadows and that's overall like it's a little bit I mean, I'm a little biased because it's a little a little drum heavy, you know, but it's one of the bangers, but but that one's like my particular favorite. So 
if you catch that one by name, you know, that, that's, that's the one that, that works the best for me, but you know, they're all rocking. So yeah. Jason, what about for you? Well, on account that I've, I wrote all the songs and that I've played them a billion times. Usually the last song is my favorite because I know I'm done for the night and I don't have to play them anymore. Just because I have a bad attitude about that doesn't mean I'm not like totally out there giving it my all during the performance, right? I mean, I'm not faking it either. Like I'm playing with passion out there. You know, I'm giving the crowd 100%. I'll find out tonight. Yeah, you'll, you'll find out tonight. I'll come off the stage sweaty, you know, and I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I, I love to play all the songs, but here's the deal is we, we, uh, we just recorded a new record too. So I'm really excited. You know, my head is ahead of where I'm at on the stage. I'm performing, you know, older songs on the stage. Great. We just recorded the third album. We're writing the fourth album. So my head is just kind of elsewhere. But I, yeah, I enjoy getting up live and playing all these songs. I don't know. I, I, I guess if I had to pick one, my favorite song to play would probably be... Uh, uh, Probably Idiot Box, the last song, yeah. is really fun. Because it's kind of riffy, you know, it's, it's, it's a, lot of good, a lot of guitar things going on. So it's kind of it's fun for me. Right, well, I'm very excited because obviously it's my first time seeing you guys live. So I'm very excited uh, for my favorite. I think I told you in the last interview, uh, Mr. Horrible is my favorite. Is that in the set tonight? It is in And you know what? I almost said that's my favorite song. Oh, really? That's yeah, my favorite. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, I like that song. Uh, yeah, I love that song. I. I I think I told you last time what uh, I wrote that song. Yep. Yeah, 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 we talked about it last. Yeah, so I'll link the former, uh, the previous interview in the description if you want to check out full details. But uh, great backstory with that, so definitely check out that interview. But now, as you've been talking about, you guys are working on the third album, or actually rec already recorded the third album. So, are you at liberty to discuss any details what people can expect from this album? Uh, the new album, I would say, the recording is great. First of all, the recording is really good. It's a fast-paced album from start to finish. It's a banger. Um, it doesn't really let up. You know, once it starts, it just it keeps barreling through to the end. It's just to take, uh, you know, it kind of left off where the second album ended. And uh, I don't know. Uh, Chris, Chris played on this. This is his yeah. first album with us. And uh, Chris is a phenomenal drummer. So... You know, I think you're going to see uh, some real heavy action going on in the rhythm section on this record, more so maybe than the last ones. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about that part of it since it's my first I don't know, We're kind of still figuring yeah, it all yeah. out with uh, labels yeah. and artwork and stuff like that. So, we, you know, we, we got the music captured and we're kind of moving forward right now with that. Absolutely, yeah. I'm very much looking forward to it. I've enjoyed the first two albums and I assume the third album, you know, well, different, but, you know, I expect... It's been high quality from it. There's a lot of hooks on the new record. So if you like the first two, you'll love this one. Uh, well, I'm excited for that because I'm, I, I, I think Generation of Elder, my favorite for right now, but I enjoy both almost it's equally. Cool. Even if you don't love it, you can lie to us. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm press. I never lie about anything. I've never heard press lie about anything in my life ever. He wouldn't even give us the questions in advance. Nope. I don't know what kind of bullshit that but is. You guys can see him. We're out here campaigning for the band and he won't give us pre-scripted questions. <laughs> nope. That's not how we do it on Super Cool Radio. <laughs> but as we're closing this interview out, one, I got, well, actually, yeah, we actually, this is the last question. Uh, for you guys, like, what is like 2025 looking like for the Oxys? A whole lot of uh, the badass shit that we've been doing so far. And I mean, just, just, yeah, with the new record coming out, going back to Spain, and a lot of just, yeah, just moving forward. That's from, a bullshit from, answer. Dude. I mean, hey, His man, mind hey, is racing hey, over here. I'm that's excited. A, that's I'm a excited. deep question. I mean, you know, like a deer in there's a lot of stuff going on. on. I mean, you know, <laughs> what can that was you a do? good politician answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that was definitely I mean, the political answer. If that's what you want to hear, that's what you're going to get. Well, for us, I mean, I would say 2025 is super exciting. Like I said, with the new record, there's going to be uh, way more touring on this one. There's going to be international domestic touring. Right. Um, but also 2025 Gosh. we're going to be you know starting our, our fourth record as well like I, I would say probably like 75 percent of that's written right now um we have a lot of songs i just don't know that we have the right songs for that record yet so we're, we're still writing um yeah new record i mean hope I, I hopefully you know we can stay healthy in 2025 yeah and who knows like it's a try. crazy world we live in like i, I don't know what's fucking gonna happen like 
it, everything could blow up, you know, tomorrow. I, I don't know. Yeah. New president. I mean, I mean my favors, God. But, <laughs> oh my God. I'll take what I can get. It's a great way to end this interview. Yeah. The whole world could end. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I was, I'm sorry to be so, you know, morbid, but it's just like. I mean, you're right, though. I mean, that's the thing. You're like, I mean, are you on edge every day? And it's only 2024. Can you imagine how on edge we could possibly be in 2025? <laughs> I'm I'm a broke college student trying to pay for schooling and do a podcast. I'm never on edge about anything. I mean, more more pandemics, more war. My God, that's why we make music. We try not to think about it because we're terrified. Oh yeah, no, I I don't even I don't even try to think about it. Yeah, you know, like people like try to talk to me about stuff. And I'm like, ah, it's out of my control. Whatever happens, so I'm just here to have fun. I mean, we're scared to death. You know, people are we're in Chicago tonight, right? And yep. We're seeing on the news. It's like, oh. Chirac, oh my gosh, they're shootings and everything. So it's like us, like we park and we like run to the front door. We're terrified. And apparently it's just not that, you know, I, this, what a beautiful city this is. And uh, I, I didn't see anything out there to be afraid of, to be perfectly honest. I'm not worried about it. I was more terrified of this interview than actually being outside. <laughs> I'm just that scary. That's hard. He's tough. He's a tough. Also, people say I'm taller in real life and I kind of am, but. Hey, you're pretty tall to me. Yeah, I'm only 6'1". Right. He's on heels. Yeah. Don't let him. Don't let him fool you. Well, I'm taking. I am can't standing. See, you can't see the platform yeah, shoes on, in the I'm picture. On, I'm on milk. Yeah. So. That's what you need. You need super. <laughs> you need super cool platforms. Is what you need to match your shirt. I like that. Some boots. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe some combat boots. I would go with. Yeah. That that and some cargo pants. Yeah. So who? I have a question for you. Yes. Who, who else have you interviewed lately? Think, lately? Uh, so, yeah, because we're always looking for cool bands. Um, so let's see, lately, last couple of interviews, so I interviewed Chris Slade, former drummer of ACDC, that was one, that was, I think that was my last interview. Incredible. Yeah. He was so cool to talk to, by the way. Check that interview out, by the way. Um, so that was, and then I went, I was at a Michigan Metal Fest recently, so I uh, interviewed a really cool band out of Wisconsin called Casca Robbery, so if you're into, like, death metal, they're so good. So, that was my last couple of interviews, and I interviewed, uh, Reverend Horton Heat. Oh, Jimbo, the boys, nice. So that was my last couple of interviews. I think I think the last interview I watched you do was the one with the uh, the girls from Iowa. Is that where they're from? The room? Oh yeah, the rumors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Very entertaining. Uh, I just had. It, well, did you watch the most recent one? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah from Chicago. That was. Yes. They are so awesome. Like I, I'm seeing them in October. And I'm very excited. So I'm yet to see them. I haven't seen them. Really? No, I take that back. I did see them live in Austin. As some club, but uh, the bass player, it was a different bass player. Yeah. Like someone filled in on the, so I didn't yeah. actually see like the full pack. Yeah, their bass player, I think, was on maternity leave. They were still great, though. Their songs are good. Oh, yeah. Love Have it. you heard the new album? I haven't heard the whole thing. I've heard a couple tracks. You should definitely check it out. I highly recommend. One of my favorites for 2025, so, or 2024. I don't know what year it is. I've done that before in my last interview. Anyway, we probably should wrap this up, though. I know you guys are going to be rocking outside. It's going to be an awesome show here at the Haunted Liars Club. Are you a Cubs fan? I am. Oh, man. I, I work for their... I, I would have known that before the interview. This would have taken a wicked twist the other way. <laughs> I, I work for their minor league team, so I kind of have to be. All right. Awesome. So, yeah. I'm their, I'm their mascot security. Oh, mascot security? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll show you some photos. Like, I got to throw t-shirts off their press box, which is like... 100 some feet off the. Do you get the cannon? No, they wouldn't give me that. I was like, we need someone on the roof. I'm like, yes, me. I will do it. It was a lot of fun. I'll show you some photos. But anyway, I'm sorry. I think we're just rambling at this point, though. Thanks for having us. Yes. <laughs> Please check and support the Oxys. Links in the description. See them live when you can. Be on the lookout for more new music. Chris, Jason, thank you so much for hanging out with me here on Super Cool Radio. I look forward to rocking out with you guys in just probably in a few hours, maybe less than that. Yeah, so, two, yeah. Hours, two hours, probably. I don't know. They keep moving at the time. Well, at some point tonight, I will rock out the Oxys. As I said, please check and support them. Thank you so much for watching this is Super Cool Radio. And remember, stay frosty.